Okay, now we're going to the Plaza restaurant. Sorry. To have a nice dinner, so. this trip.
Halo, gelok, oh. gelok, gelok. This is lovely, how empty everything is. I don't think I've ever walked through here and not had any people. As part of your admission to After Hours, you have unlimited snacks that are from the carts. So there's water, soda, ice cream bars, anything that's from the cart. So the Mickey Premium ice cream bar, I got an ice cream sandwich, the creamsicle, all of that, and also popcorn, as much as you want for three hours. There's nobody here. <laughs> you know what? This is worth every penny. Yeah. It's I I don't know. To me, it's worth every penny. Yeah. There's nobody else. Nobody here.
It's a very good day. I love this castle, especially the back of the back of you. Good night. Hold on. <laughs> I would do this again in a heartbeat. We rode everything we wanted to ride. The only thing we forgot to do and then we ran out of time was to meet Ariel. We've never been to her meet and greet. But that's okay, we'll try to make a fast pass maybe for later in the trip. We still have like four or five more days. But we did get in line behind a woman and a man at Peter Pan. And I was telling her, I, I was telling Chewy actually about how there's people who have been to this event before and that you can ride every single ride if you put your mind to it and don't dilly-dally and the woman kind I guess she made a face to you or kind of something and so we ended up talking and she said she was here last April and there was so many less people she said it was just literally a walk-on for seven dwarfs over and over and over and over again where we had about a 12-minute wait the longest wait we had was Peter Pan all night, and that was almost a solid 15 minutes. But she said that when she was here that night, complete walk-on, they just walked right up to the ride. Most of what we did tonight was like that, but some of the really popular ones were not. Her feelings were, she felt Disney was getting a little, I, I don't know what the appropriate word is, but you know, they maybe, if you want to keep it as exclusive and a, a, you know you're charging someone for three hours what you charge regular people for a full day at the park and her other comment was they're not open till midnight you know I remember growing up yeah. and in the 80s it didn't matter what time of year it was they were pretty much open until midnight or one stuff like that they don't do that very often anymore so she said because of all of that she felt that it's this event is losing its exclusivity um, it, it's not whatever but for me did, and do you feel this? I thought it was worth it and I would probably pay the money again we did get an annual pass discount, which was actually a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to insert the numbers below here because off the top of my head, I don't remember exactly what we paid. Um, but there were still tickets for this event this morning. Rumor has it they keep it to 3,000 people. The couple in front of us, they guesstimated there's at least six, 7,000 people, if not maybe a little bit more. So. Yeah. But it was still a wonderful event. We got lots of water. We had popcorn and a frozen banana and a, and a Mickey bar. So ice cream bar. So it's good. I forgot my jacket tonight. I brought one yesterday evening and it ended up being really, really warm and muggy here. So we thought tonight, no, we won't do with it. Before it was even like 6.30, I was already cold. So Chewy bought me this. I love this. Look at the Mickey, black and white. I love it. Simple collar. I love it. It's lightweight. It's not very heavy at all. So if it was down in the 50s, I don't think it would keep me warm. But it was enough to keep the chill off while riding Seven Dwarf Mine Train. Thank you, Poppy. De nada, mami. What a wonderful night. We loved after hours. We'd do it again in a heartbeat. 
So from us here at the Magic Kingdom to all of you out there, thank you so much for watching and for your support and we love your comments. Koosh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night guys.